Yo, yo, yo. What's good, world? It's your boy MB, man, your favorite rapper, singer, songwriting actor. This is another uh, episode of Chat with MB. I know I ain't did Chat with MBs in a long time, but uh, this one particular young woman had a special story that one, uh, and when she was telling me about it, it almost broke my heart, and I just felt the need to want to put it out to the world about her story. It's not really my story to tell, so when she come in, man, I'm going to let her tell her story about how she was done. And I'm going to leave it at that. Let's see if she's going to come on this thing, man, and we can, you know, get her side of the story, man. You know what I'm talking about? And we can go from there. Send me the invite. I will definitely let her in, and we'll chat it up, man. Chat with MB. You know, these are, this is going to be a, a series that I'm definitely going to be um, doing more of. I'm going to invite you. Let's add you here. Boom. And now she here. All right, what's going on? Hi. Blessed, blessed. I highly favor, man. Um, let's just get straight right to it, man. Just let the people know where you're from. You know what I'm talking about, and you know, say a little bit about yourself before you go into your story. I stay in Homerville, Georgia, and um, I used to work for the county jail for about three and a half, four years, and they closed the jail down. So ever since then, I've been doing factory work mm -hmm. at Lee Container. Okay. All right. How long you been doing that? For three years now. Okay. Yeah, hey, you, you got a job. Look, a lot of people ain't got no jobs out here in this coronavirus. So you, you, you want to know the it. Yo. You one of the blessed ones. Uh, how many children you got? I have three. Three, okay. A fifteen-year-old uh -huh. and a twenty-year-old and a twenty-two-year-old. Okay. Which so my twenty-year-old you... stay with me and my fifteen-year-old do. Okay. My and, um, son stay in Florida. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I was just prepping the people and letting them know, man, that uh, you know, we had we had discussed a few things last night and. Your story really touched me, you know what I'm saying, to my core. And I just wanted to get your story out there to the world, you know, as big as I can get it on my platform. So go ahead and you can start whenever you want to start. You got the floor. I appreciate that. Um, Friday morning, early in the morning, about two something in the morning, Friday, I like, thought something. Let me be specific. What date is this? You were talking about this Friday, like Friday just passed, correct? Yes. Okay. And that was the 30th, October okay. the 30th. October the 30th, to be exact. Let's be punctual. Go ahead. Yeah. I woke up because I heard somebody, it sounded like somebody broke in my house. So when I went to check it out, it was the police and it was like seven or eight of them running around my house. And they went to yell and immediately I put my hands up so they know I, ain't, I don't have no weapons. They was just yelling. I couldn't even understand what they were saying. They was just like, uh, everybody was just yelling. Then finally, one of them just said, ma'am, step outside. And I was headed outside, and they pushed me outside. Hold up, Mind hold, you, up. I just hold up, hold up. Did they have a warrant to come and kick your dough in? Actually, they did have a warrant, but, you know, they had a search warrant. But I didn't even know it at the time that they was pushing me out the door. And I didn't have anything on but my shirt and panties. Mind mm. you, it was 51 degrees. It two, th two something in the morning, it was 51 degrees out there. And I had nothing on but my shirt, my T-shirt, and my panties. And they pushed me out the door, which I was going because I'm very cooperative. Right. And like when I noticed that they had broke my door down, I told them, I said, y'all could have not. I would have let y'all in here. Because my son do get in trouble. I'm not finna sugarcoat it. Okay, he do okay. get in trouble. Oh, hold up. So I don't let, 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 hold up. I want, I want for the people to know, and I want to be very transparent with the people. Why do you feel like they kicked in the door? I just want to stop there. I want to give them a timeline. I don't feel like they should have. I don't. If y'all would see my door, which I'll send you a picture later of mm -hmm. the what was left of the door but the door is made of glass like it's glass little square panels on there they really if they wanted to come in to surprise us they could have knocked one of the panels off but instead they used the big metal thing to break the door down and it just uh -oh. shattered all the, you know i feel like that was assessing that was very assessing it sounded like a very I assessing like uh, but right. okay let me ask you a question why do you feel they did that i want the people to know it's every 
police got to have a probable cause for the bullshit that they be doing. So why do you think they did that? Kind of give that, give that, give that to the people. Let them know why you feel like they did that. And you, you said something about I your son. I, I know the story. I really, but... I really don't understand why they did that. That's why I kept asking them. I was like, what's going on? Because my son, he really haven't got in trouble in the past three years. Okay. So I was like, that sounds like a big drug bust to me. I'm just saying, they it actually it's like they were finna go in there get the pounds, get all the weed. That just that's what it sounds like to me and the guns. Right, and we don't have that in the hill. We didn't have no weapons and stuff, you know. But they act like it because they had their guns out, the little red dot everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't know what we're going to do like that. Yes. And um, so like well, tell me about I, you not knowing. Tell tell the people about you not knowing who it was. You grabbed a knife. You could have been shot right there. Yeah, but something told me to because I heard fumbling around, and I was like a burglar gonna try to be a little discreet. You know what I'm saying? So I thought my son might have been fighting in there. So I put the stuff up. I put my um knife up because I thought maybe they was just in there fighting. Uh -huh. So I went and looked around the corner and. Everybody, all the officers run around my house yelling. And then they bust my, well, they just like crowbarred my daughter's room and they could have hit her with the door because she heard me saying, what's going on? So she knew it was kind of safe. She thought it was safe for her to come out. So she was coming out the room and they, you know, knocked the door open, which they could have hit her in the face, my 15-year-old daughter. And they made her go outside. And I also had my son, Girlfriend staying with me and my grandbaby. My son girlfriend is Caucasian. You know, I'm not gonna just say like you know she Caucasian, but anyway she um they made us go outside in the cold, but they told her she can sit on the sofa in the living room. Huh? And I was hold like, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want you to rewind that and say that one more time. Say that one more time so that can stick. Say that one more time. My son, white girl from a Caucasian, as you know, she was able to sit in the living room where it's warm at her and my granddaughter while me and my daughter was outside. We had to stay outside on the porch and my daughter was in the corner. How old cold. your daughter is? How old your daughter for the people? How old are you, is your daughter out there in the cold out there with you? How old? My daughter, 15 years old. And my son, girlfriend, 17. But she was able to stay in the house. And then Let when I asked her. Let me ask you a question. I, who paid the bills? Who paid the bills in that house? I wanna that's the one that's just trying to figure I, out. And I made that very clear to them. I told them I'm the only one paying the bills in my house. Why my daughter can't go inside where it's warm at? Y'all just don't bust in. She don't know what's going on. It's cold out here. Y'all got us outside like we animals in my own place. But I asked him, and and he told me if I don't shut up, he going to lock me up too. And my daughter begged me to hush. But my job is to protect 